First of all, shout out to my girl Candy Hooter. <coughs> it's very hard to balance intelligence and modesty. On one hand, it's a very unhealthy attitude to just boast and brag and show off about how smart you are, but on the other hand, if you come across as too modest, people will just think you're looking for attention or making them feel worse about themselves or just taking the p So it becomes very hard to maintain that balance because you don't want to offend anyone, but you don't want to be arrogant either. Society has only really seen academic intelligence as valuable, but now the perception of intelligence has opened up to many different forms, such as creative or social or emotional intelligence. This may have been sparked from the growth of successful online entre entrepreneurial jobs, such as freelancing or YouTube, which have recently gained successful reputations and could have been the eye-opener for society to accept other types of intelligence as valuable, not just academic. In some cultures, for example, Bangladesh, Academic intelligence is still of incredibly high value and the only worthy characteristic able to get you a respectable, reputable job other than slipping a fiver into the invigilator's top pocket. Honour and dignity are very highly valued also in these cultures which ties in with the integrity gained from academic intelligence. This is um, one of my notes that I wrote uh, a long long time ago. I've got a lot of notes on a lot of different video ideas. This one happened to be about um, the value of intelligence in society and I made these notes like maybe months ago years maybe i don't know literally this is this is my list of video ideas and there's a lot more on another on like a notebook thing from ages and ages ago from the old channel but like you know i've only ticked off two of these which are fortnite and um aban oop, abandoned there we go abandoned shipyard urbex and uh yeah I mean, if, if you read through these, you could tell I made some of them quite a while ago. How to solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute! But yeah, I, I don't have my lights today because they're in another room. Um, yeah. Alright, you know what? Just had an idea. I'm completely ripping off Mr. Beast, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to record videos to be released at certain times, like maybe a month later, a year later, whatever. I don't know why, but you know what? Today's the day. I'm just going to do it, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> You know what? Why not? All right, why not? Uh, first of all, I'm gonna make one that's gonna release uh, in a month, which is probably my usual schedule anyway. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. Right, that's that one done. Now I'm gonna record on for I don't know, like a year. I a year. This this is gonna come out on. Um, I keep forgetting the date, man. 11th May, uh, 2020. Right, that's that done. I've scheduled one for next month. I've scheduled one for uh, a year, and now I'm I'm gonna schedule one for. Should I, should I schedule one for five years? Yeah, screw it. Yeah, I'm scheduling one for five years. Right, let, let's go. Right, I've just scheduled one for five years time. Should I go 10 years, 50 years? 50 years when I'm 66, yeah. Yeah, screw it. Screw it, you know what, we'll go all out. I'm scheduling a video for 50 years. What is this video turned into? I had none of this planned literally 10 minutes ago when I sat down to record. I had none of this planned. But you know what, screw it, we're going for it. 50 years, let's go. <laughs> Right, that's the video recorded that's gonna come out in 50 years time what am i doing with my life who knows i've literally i've literally got eight exams in the first week of gcse's starting in two days and i'm sat here talking to me future self anyways uh yeah that's it for the video what was this video i, I don't even know i just needed some filler content because i'm probably not gonna come out with another video until like i don't know yeah i don't know so yeah see you later